Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say subscribe to mommy. <laughs> mommy. Look at them. Say subscribe to mommy. Subscribe to mommy. <laughs> she done took off. This chair sucks ass. I hate it. Like, listen to this. This is not good for content at all. Anyway. I hope you guys liked my intro so today is december 31st it is now new year's eve cheers i just got up my shower you saw my bath time routine some of the things that i used were um some of my holy grails i've been looking for holy grails since i was about maybe 24 years old i've been looking for things that i just got interested at around that time like what can i use for people like me i have like i don't have eczema at all but i do have dry skin to the point where i do get ashy i'm just i just missed the boat of being light enough to not get ashy you know so my skin usually get ashy especially in the winter time and what stopped it was two products actually this was the first product that i found that actually did stop the ash for me and it is the jergens ultra healing they have other kinds like the original they have like all this other stuff unfortunately this is the one that stopped my ashiness and i can put this on so the difference between this lotion and all the other lotions i've ever used in my life my lip is starting to feel some type of way right now y'all so let me put something on it i'm hoping i don't get my cold sore because but anyway as i was saying before so the other lotions before i would have to go ahead and like dry it and make sure my skin was completely dry i would go ahead and get ashy and then cover the ash up with the lotion this you could put on directly out of the shower still wet and then when you do dry finally you won't be ashy and that's what i like about this and this is the first product that i ever found that worked that way of course this product works that way i just hate it smelling like cocoa butter because I could tell y'all a story about when my dad was, when we were, I was about 12, 13, 14 years old. And I, my dad got custody of us and it's all he really believed in. Everything was cocoa butter. Our soap was cocoa butter. Our lotion was cocoa butter. Like everything we could use for ourselves was cocoa butter. I just hated going to school and junior high and then everybody telling me like, who smell like cocoa butter? Who smell like cocoa butter? And it's like... It was embarrassing. No, I don't know if people ever knew that it was me smelling. I'm pretty sure they did because I was probably like beaming, you know, but I never wanted to wear cocoa butter all the way until I found this product back probably right before I had my daughter. So maybe about three and a half years ago. And I've been using it ever since. This this is very good product, especially for the winter months because you want to use butters on your skin in the winter months instead of creams because the creams aren't going to help your skin from cracking. This is going to keep your skin moisturized. And a lot of people 
may not know this about your skin, but you do need to have a different skincare and hair care regimen for the winter months versus the summer because the weather is not the same. Do I have a holy grail for my, um? I do have a holy grail deodorant, okay. But it's kind of like a deodorant trick. It's not really a deodorant. It's just the fact that if certain clothes make you wet underneath your pits not necessarily stink but you just sweat because of the material hitting your underarm and that material gives radiant heat and it causes you to have wet spots under your armpits and some people just have wet spots under their arms no matter who they are my auntie was one of them and she told me she was like i cannot get my armpits to stop sweating i need to go to the doctor and i told her i'm like girl but i had just found out about this myself like maybe three or four months maybe five months before and I told her, and she ain't been sweating under her pits ever since. So the trick is, which I wish I knew this years ago, I could take my deodorant stick, right? And since I have not put on my deodorant, I'm going to go ahead and do it here. So I'm going to put my deodorant on. You don't need a ton. Just put some on and cover your armpit, right? I don't put a whole lot. It's unnecessary. And then I take what would be deodorant spray. This spray, Degree Advanced Protection 72 Hour Dry Spray Powder. You see that? That's the trick. Powder. Powder. Freesia and Water Lily Scent. Powder is not the scent. Powder is what this is. Now, a lot of the deodorant sprays are not powder. They're liquid. They will spray out in a liquid form under your armpits. It'll be wet. That's not what you need. It's not going to work, so don't do it. You need a deodorant advanced spray that says powder. Spray this on top of this after you put this on. I think I have some other ones that I do use that I'm okay with. So, degree. The next one that I like is Dove. And this Dove one, I have two of these. I don't see the other one right now. The Dove Nourishing Secrets. And sometimes you think you have a liquid, but it is a powder if you shake it. You know, do what the do what the bottle tells you to do, and don't spray a lot. Just you don't need a lot. Just hold it about arm width away and spray, and it's gonna get all over your pit. And if your armpit feels wet after you spray, you have the wrong stuff because you can literally tap and see that I don't have any wet stuff on my pits. So that's the trick to getting your underarms to not be wet when you get putting on clothes that make you sweat. <laughs> um, ooh, I almost dropped that. Now, it might not be wet, but it's slippery. <laughs> I almost dropped my wine. What else? So now we're just going to get, um, probably start prepping myself for whatever makeup. And then I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, so... Just bear with me. What the fuck? <sighs> My lip feels so much better now that I put that peroxide on it, even though I still see evidence that a cold shore is coming. And it comes in at the exact spot every single year. Every year is right fucking there. But let's clean up our brows a bit. I do want to do a makeup look because it's New Year's Eve. And I just want to look different. But I don't know what I'm wearing yet, y'all. So that's the part for me. Like, what the fuck? We're going to go through. We're going to find out what I'm wearing. I want to do another haul. But I don't know how long my daughter going to be gone. So if I could do another haul, then I can have more of a variety to choose from with my looks. But until I get that haul done, I'm not touching nothing let me look and see what i'm wearing and then we'll come back all right guys so i'm back and i gotta speed up a little bit because baby girl on her way back and so we're gonna just go ahead and fill in these brows and then i'll pop my lashes on let you see and then i'll come back when i'm dressed and you'll see what i'm wearing for the day
New Year's Eve. I'm not like going anywhere. Really, I'm going to probably go to my sister's house for a little while because she's cooking. And we're going to have some family fun over there for a little bit. Mm. You'll get to see some of that, my crazy siblings. And that is about all we're doing as far as the day goes. And then I'll have to come back here because I'll be having a little bit of company later. Just to bring in the new year. Oh, feeling it on my eyebrows. My eyebrows are kind of, they're microbladed, so they already kind of got the foundation set for me because I was tired of feeling in my brows every single day. You see this little scar on my forehead right there. And that scar goes clear across into here. And then there's a lot of other scar damage and scar tissue here that was from a car accident. So I kind of have to fill in my brows every single day because I have a slit going straight through my eyebrow. So that microblading helped with that slit. And some people be like, where the slit? Used to always tell me that's so fucking cool. Where the slit? And I'm like, dude, I'm not wearing a fucking slit. <laughs> because... They thought it was like badass and it's like, it's not badass. It's like, for a girl, we don't want no damn slit on my brow, bro. Like, and it might look cool on some people. I like the girl, Um, what's her name? Her slit is cute. But we ain't trying to do all that. You know, and maybe I will rock my slit one day. But it won't be no time soon. And I'm going to get ready for my lashes. I'm going to pop these on and then I will be right back. We're going to get dressed and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. And that'll be that. I'll be right back. So, y'all, I got this big, big, big box. This is the smaller box. I have a bigger box in my closet that I did do a haul on. I have not done a haul on these things yet, but this is a Shein box. This is almost the largest box that they have, but I have a bigger box in my closet that says otherwise. Yeah, it's about 65 pieces in this box. And we about to just go through. I got some things, some little things, just some straws and stuff like that. But I'm gonna be doing a haul on a lot of this stuff. Not all, but most. So I'm gonna just go through real quick and pick out what I wanna wear for tonight. And that's what we're doing. So guys, I have, ooh, let me get away from that ring light. So I have on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and do something to those. But I have on this beanie and I kind of went with the beanie and I just wanted to like, I love hats, I love beanies and all that. And I just found this blue oversized shirt. It's kind of sweatshirt, oversized sweatshirt. It's got the bear boots here that I'm gonna probably just put on with these with this outfit. Um so just to see but I gotta put on my socks. Got these Shein socks. I love socks like this. They used to be um this is kind of how give you a better angle. <sighs> Our socks to look when we were growing up. We had these socks with the little rings around the ends. I got a few here. It's another couple of pair in there, different colors. <clears throat> yeah, different. I don't know where my phone is not. <clears throat> yeah, I got a few pairs, different colors and stuff. There's some more in there. I don't feel like digging for it. But I'm gonna just throw these black ones on because they don't I don't have any to match this actual outfit. And then I'm just gonna go ahead. We dressing down clearly. It's New Year's Eve, and like I said, I'm not going nowhere, but to my sister's house you're gonna be around family as long as you're clean and you smelling good and you ain't looking crazy 
you know, it's all that matters. I'm not trying to. Yeah. Stuff in it, which is the winter. It's also winter wear. So we'll just do another one and rename it something else. But this is it. And I don't have any earrings that I'm gonna put on. I'm probably just put on some like studded small ones cause you can't see my ears any damn way. But today I'm gonna probably wear my Rocky chain. And if I don't, I'll wear the streaks one. My son stole the necklace off of it and he about to run that back. Yes, yes. And so he about to run it on there. Couple of little deets that we didn't do. So today's smell of choice we're gonna go ooh. Here. ooh so disappointed in this dossier woody sandalwood so disappointed stinks like hell amory saffron what i look like i smell like today i want to smell real dope or fogier bergamot what are you doing why are you trying to put my eye patch on and you messing up your hair don't do that oh I've been wearing an eye patch for the last few days because it hurts. And my stupid ass decided to put on some contact lenses, even though my eye feels whack. This smell like cologne, Mommy. like for a guy. Mommy, I'm gonna I'm wear it. But it's the best smelling scent that I got from Dossier. So we gonna just hit myself. It's strong. This is inspired by, um, let me see. Versace Dylan Blue and I put Versace actual Versace uh bright crystal body lotion on today. That's a $175 perfume. This uh I got the body wash and the lotion. It came for a set of $375. And I never once got a um a compliment from anybody when I put that on. I'm trying to look for my flower bomb. And, um, cause I wanna, okay, here it is. Gourmand White Flower. And it is by, inspired by Victor and Roth, Flower Bomb, Mommy. hands down. And I just wanna Mommy. soften it up. Ooh. Mommy, you soften up what I just put on. And I wanna put Flower Bomb on Kenzie. Aww. Come here, baby girl. You want some perfume? Come on, come get some perfume. Some smell good. Come get some perfume. That's the only scent that I feel like I would actually put on my daughter that I purchased because it's a playful scent. So I got like a little bit of both of those. My lip, I'm gonna go in with a concealer. Here, baby, let's put on some smell, smell good. Come here. <laughs> she keep running. <laughs> we about to get it together. Why is they playing music? <sighs> Y'all want some kids. Do y'all want some kids? Because he be trying his damnedest to get me whatever. Huh? Your brother whack as fuck, for real. Peekaboo. I'm gonna just throw this light color. It's like a pink on. <laughs> I tried to get her. I tried, girl. I'm about to just pop on some pure beige on my lips. I want to light up the pink. Mom, I like mm -hmm. I want Black women already have a full set, whether they're big or not big. 
they big enough. Like, all we need is to do a little bit of, you know, accent. And that's it. But that's my I'm about to get up out of here and I'll see y'all in a minute at Yeah. 
Angelina Jolie in Rapid. Yeah. Yeah. She a superhero. I mean, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. I can think. He was just in Wizard. Yeah. Y'all tripping. These cards get a wizard. Wizard. Everybody got all the books. He got a lot of books. A lot of books. The Sorcerer's Stone. Nerds. Nerds. The whole boy's doing it. You don't do that. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm you wash your body when it come in a square. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it's a. Uh, she got it. You got it. Because you would have got Simpsons. Oh, that was it. That was quick. Yeah. Bar is Bar is so good. She got it. No, because you said it's a sad You take your car through here for $5. Huh? Take it over. Alright. One, two, three. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Me, boss. No, keep your card in front of you. Uh, uh, Spicy. Spicy. Green. Spicy. Put it on my Mexican. Cheese. No, no, it's green. It's green. Oh, man. You go there and catch a flight. Yeah. Airport. Uh -huh. yeah. Stop crying, girl. You hold it and give it to baby. It's so freaky like this in the color of my sweater. It's fuzzy, it's furry. You're going to give it to baby. A beer? A teddy bear. A teddy bear. You give it to somebody else with roses. Flowers? Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite character. I was about to say him. Drinking. <laughs> 
Oh, you got big nails. Oh, 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 It is 10.31 or something like that. And we got about an hour and 29 minutes until the new year, 2023. This is the last 12 months for me to get my shit all the way together. So that's what we're doing, boy. And we going hard. We going straight into the new year with a bang. We kicking it off and we boom, 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 boom. I'm getting all the stuff knocked off of my my vision board. My vision board is going to be crossed off 2023. So it's supposed to go to I think I did my vision board to 20 to June 2023. And I did it because you're only supposed to do it for a year span and I did it this summer. So yes. Yeah, we got 6 more months. To pop some shit off on my vision board. I got a lot of work to do. And January and February is going to be that that Kickstarter for me. I was trying to find a way to get all of that stuff done all at simultaneously. But I realized that I don't work that way. So I had to do and focus on one thing at a time. So I've been focusing. And yeah, that's pretty much... I got what I could get done. Done. You know, I could. I'm trying to get this thing... To sit up and not slide and stuff. So, um, I got a lot of stuff to do. I got a lot of work to do, but I got to start working on pressure at the uh, top of the year. And I got to start working on... Um, what do you mean? What am I doing? What are you doing? Huh? What? What are you doing?
Anyway, so we got an hour and a half. My ex called me all drunk and all that. Yeah. Talking about he's being in the night and stuff, which was not part of the plan. He's going to be sadly disappointed because I'm about to be editing all, sing all night. And that's what I had in my plan. So I'm not going to switch it up because he made different plans with behind my back. I don't know what to tell him because that's what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He was supposed to come over for a few minutes and bring the new year in with me because that's what he wanted to do. And now he wants to spend the night, I guess. And that's what um, it sounds like he's planning on doing. But he could fall asleep because he's drunk anyway. I'm going to be editing and getting my content done and getting caught up. So I'm going to be working throughout the night. And I wanted to vlog if Kenzie goes to sleep at a decent time because she's sleepy. Been sleepy for hours. I probably should give her a bath. I should give her a bath real quick. And I know she'll fall asleep. And then I can at least do maybe one other video before he comes. And then I'm going to do another video. But y'all, yeah. I, I failed for the year because I do have a cold sore. It's a little bump right there on my lip. It made it this year as it does every year. I almost got away with not getting one. Usually it comes... October, November every year for like three days or so, four days, and then it goes away. But it's here. It said, bitch, fuck you. The season, I guess it's just a delay in the weather or something because the weather is what causes this on my lip in that same exact spot every single year. But what? What's up? You want to say hi to my, uh, to YouTube? Hi, to YouTube. You want to say hi to you too? Come here, baby. Me too. Say hi, you too. Me too. Say hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Say hi, you too. Hi, me too. Say subscribe to the channel. To the channel. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Say subscribe to mommy. This is mommy. Look at them. Say subscribe to mommy. Subscribe to mommy. <laughs> I want. Yeah. Kizzy, three years old. She just turned three. She was being a Scorpio all night, screaming and carrying on and all that good shit. <sighs> just party pooping. I said, I got to get the heck out of here. But my lashes withheld. <laughs> The dang on blindfold, y'all. I don't know how, but it did. They did not come off. They didn't even come off on the ends, which I'm surprised because they blindfolded the heck out of me. But anyway, we had so much fun with the family. It was a time. Yeah, I feel like this look is a look. I was hot. I was sweating. My beanie done came unfolded. Baby. <laughs> But I kind of like the beanie without the fold. The beanie without the fold is giving. I'm about to try to give her a bath or something real quick so we can get her laid down for bed. I'm going to pick up my house a little because it's kind of out of order. And I will see y'all in a minute. She done took off. This chair sucks ass. I hate it. Like, listen to this. This is not good for content at all. Anyway, I'm going to change it. I'm going to get another chair or tighten it up or something. But that's whack as hell because this goes to this desk. I bought it, picked it out personally, and it squeaks. Hey, so I got this chair off of Amazon, by the way. I need to set me up an Amazon store, y'all, because I done bought maybe $10,000 worth of stuff off of Amazon at one time. Like, at one time, bro. Like, and I literally don't have an Amazon store. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. You know? Um, so, I need to get an Amazon store going. And I need to add that to my vision board. Uh, because I do need to start working on that in January. Like, literally sit down. One day this week, I'm going to sit down and make a schedule for my goals. So, I'm going to take some stuff off my vision board. And I'm going to set in and pencil in a date to work on those things. 
And that's the beauty of vision boards, y'all. Vision boards, you're supposed to look at it every single day. You're not supposed to make it and put it away and tuck it in the corner like I got it over there. It's supposed to be visual where you can see it. So I want to put it on a wall somewhere in here so that I can always look at it. And give it its respect every time I walk past it. Once a day, if I do come in here, I would walk past it. And just give it the respect that it needs. You know, stop, take a minute, look it over and see what it is that I need to be on track with. But I like to take my little notepad or whatever and where's my top to this? Where my top at? And she's off again. She loves running when she in trouble. I hate my chair. I heard mama have to put a new chair on the vision board, y'all. <laughs> Cause this one ain't right. Um but yeah, for the start of the year, I, I just had lost my train of thought just a second ago, but I need to do some stuff for the, um, you know, my goals or whatever. And like, I do have to start pressure. I know that. And I've been putting pressure on the back burner, but we about to give it some attention. Um, and pressure is a, a Faha line. It's like a compression garment line pressure faha so i'm starting that i already got plenty of supply already here so that way if somebody does order it i can ship it out like that because i already got it you know and um what else i just basically have to tackle a few things that i do need to do for pressure and it's about five things so i'm gonna start working on that first things first uh probably the first and second week of january I'm going to just make that note here. And then, um, other goals that I need to accomplish is we got to get Kenzie reading, right? Powers. Powers. Kenzie got to start reading. It's powers. It's powers. Read basics, so. And then um, another thing I want to do is lose the 25 pounds I just put on. And at this point, I, it might be 30 because I gained a little bit. It seemed like I just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, like every two weeks. And I don't understand where the weight is coming from. Like my body is literally just getting fat for no reason, y'all. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So. I got to start working out and I got to start losing it. I lost, I gained almost 30 pounds in the last three months. I mean, I'm sorry, in the last seven months. So we got to lose it. So let's lose our 30 pounds. It's going to take me like three months to lose it too. So, so that's my main focuses. And for now. And yeah, that's it. But let me give her a bath and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. It is 11.52 p.m. on December 29th. Or sorry, December 31st. New Year's is literally minutes away for 2023 coming in. And I was going to bring in the New Year's on camera, but... I don't think it's going to be a good look for camera like footage because my ex is coming and he clearly got in super tox intoxicated. So he's coming over and I know that whatever footage I get is not going to be good footage because he's intoxicated and that is not going to be sitting well with me because he's already annoying me. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here right now. And happy new year's to everyone. Welcome to 2023. Let's see if we could turn this world around and get things back on track and get to the goals. Okay. Get to the goals. Um, I will see you guys in 2023. Peace. Love you guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? I got the shit back out strong.